Katie got it. You get it? Yeah. It worked? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got it on video too, and it, you all were in the background, and it popped up, except airdrop. <laughs> that is awesome. Literal airdrop. I was trying to keep it as tight as I could. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just wait and see. Someone just said they saw the Blue Angels fly over a popka. That's wild. It was us. <laughs> just wait and see. I can't believe we're already into spring of 2022 and this is the week of Sun and Fun. I do have two scheduled events at Sun and Fun this year. I'll be at the Four Flight booth with Chris Palmer from Angle of Attack on Friday from 1 to 2 p.m. And then I'll be at the Flying Eyes booth on Saturday from 12 to 1 p.m. And Ludix will probably show up there at some point too, unfortunately. This is all footage captured last year at Sun and Fun that hasn't been cut together yet, but in this three-part series, we'll showcase the journey getting to Florida, tons of formation flying, fantastic food, airdropping a video between planes, an airboat tour through Gator territory, Major League Baseball, and ending the week at Sun and Fun to celebrate the beginning of airshow season. Welcome to part one. I'm Josh, a pilot and flight instructor who loves the sky, sharing it with those around me and using it to see the world from a new perspective. Flying can seem super complex, but I make it my mission to promote safe practices while enjoying the beauty this world has to offer. Subscribe to Climb Into the Cockpit on future adventures. This is Aviation 101. Okay, zero, nine, nine, one, New Orleans, clear, clear to the uh, Foley Airport via as filed. On departure, maintain 2,000 feet. As the plan stands, Chris Palmer is going to airline down to Texas and he's riding with me to Florida. But he's not the only Alaskan that will be hanging out in my neck of the woods. If you've watched any of my Alaska videos, you've seen this guy. Kevin is a private pilot from Soldotna, Alaska, and he has friends in low places too, namely far south Texas. So it was very easy for him to drive up to San Marcos to rendezvous with Chris and I. All three of us just got to hang out and catch up and we used my home office to get some last minute work done before the trip. We obviously wanted to fit flying into this stay in Texas somehow and when presented the food choices within 100 nautical miles, these Alaskans obviously chose genuine Texas barbecue. So we flew to Lano and grabbed the courtesy vehicle, which was actually a retired cop car. <laughs> Go get some barbecue. Kevin took the left seat on the way back to San Marcos and we took the rest of the afternoon to just chill out and get a little bit more work done. Since Alaska is vastly rural and city lights are pretty scarce, this yields a good opportunity to show these guys what the nightlife in Austin, Texas looks like from the air. All right. Tower 121.0. For your four Victor Tango, I'm gonna set you up for about a, well, it's gonna be a long final. Unfortunately, it's not in Kevin's plans to head out to Sun and Fun with us, nor do we have the available useful load in the Skyhawk for all three of us plus our luggage. So the next morning, Kevin was on his way back to South Texas, and Chris and I were preparing to load up the Skyhawk to begin our day-long trip to Orlando. Me and Chris, fuel tanks, and just a caddy of tools. Backpack survival kit, which includes the life vests, and then camera backpack, my duffel, and then in the very back, we got a suitcase for me, Chris's suitcase, big duffel bag, my laptop bag, and then in the very back, a little camera transport case that we won't need access to. All of that together puts us about nine pounds under max gross. So actually, we have less baggage on this trip. Like, we're not gonna fill the plane up, but I guess our density is up <laughs> because we're actually pretty close to max gross weight. But that's okay, we know the airplane is, it's got 20 horsepower extra that, than the POH originally depicted. So we're gonna have plenty of performance. We'll take it up to 11,000 in this first leg. Weight and balance is done on four flight. God, is all this gonna even gonna fit in the truck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got the code. Sweet, let's go. Decision. Okay, so I'm gonna drive over here real quick on the way to the plane. This blue and white 152, November 6, 7, 7, 9, or 6, is what I did my first solo in. Throw that window down. There you go. Wow. Did my first solo in that thing. It's even Aviation 101 colors. It is. 
दूर ना हो So not only is weight an issue, but we have got to fit all of this volume inside the plane. So kind of what we're doing now, Josh has it figured out in his head. So I'm just standing off and making fun of him while he does all that. So yeah, obviously the stuff you put in the cargo compartment, that's gonna be the stuff you do not need during the flight. So really we don't wanna have to open that up at all. And then this stuff will be within reach. So we put that stuff in the middle and of course weigh where it all is. So it's not just the weight. It's where it's at on the pendulum. Survival equipment. I think nice. it's hilarious when people pack this out of reach. Let's check notums. I've learned this lesson before. Runway 17, end lights are out of service, no big deal. Uh, helicopter ops, helicopter ops. Okay, so I don't see anything that says fuel pump out of service. I have gotten to airports before and that's the case. 4.30 a gallon for self-serve, that's not that bad, honestly. Stopping at APS is kind of cool because New Orleans Approach always lets me transition across the south shore of Pontchartrain, which is right by downtown New Orleans, and then just basically follow the coast all the way to as far as we can get, and then that's what our destination looks like right now. But that's even better than it looked earlier. It's way better than it looked earlier before all these storms were like up here. Yep. They were right up here, so looking a lot better. So I'm gonna file this flight plan uh, from San Marcos to APS. Um, it's saying 19 knots on the tail uh, if we're departing now. And we're kind of aiming to be out of here in about 30 minutes, by 30 minutes from now, which I think is totally possible. Austin approach, Skyhawk 80, or 1000, 400 climbing, heading 080. 2991 Austin departure, out of contact. Clear direct to uh, College Station, climb maintain 1, 1000. Climb and maintain 1, 1, 11, direct College Station, 80991. I'm just going to look ahead on weather a little bit. Yep, so you can actually get composite radar up here. With, oh, uh, dude. With Sirius XM. Look at that. Yeah. Look how much it's moved out. It has. That's much better. It's like we could almost do that now. Or is it hang loose like this? Yeah. yeah. I'm a surfer, dude. We're totally going to Florida right now. It's sick. <laughs> We're kind of perfect at 11,000. We got like this sick towing, bro. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so rad. It's so rad. At first, we had like this gnarly climb out, and like the pilot was like weaving back and forth. Crazy. But then we caught the wave, bro. We're just like going. Descending it. New Orleans approach. Skyhawk 80991. 111,000 with an approach request. Right here, 911, North Approach, uh, North Timbers 2974, what's your approach request? We'd like to do the uh, RNAV uh, runway with 35. So I'm going to go procedure, select approach. Right here, 911, you proceed direct to Iraeli. Direct Iraeli, uh, 80991. Tell them we're looking for lower. Number 991, descend to maintain 5000. Descend to maintain 5000, 991. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he heard me. I was going to say, because the airport's like, I almost see it right over there. Right. Number 991, you are five miles final approach, six turn left heading 020, maintain 2000, full stop. Final approach course cleared the RNAV runway 835 approach there at the Port of South Region Regional Executive Airport. Approach 991 will go ahead and counsel for you. Number 991, Roger, no travel reserve in the vicinity of the airport. Radar service terminates, quo V4, for exchange proof. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later, 991. I'm like looking both ways down, up and down the Mississippi, like crossing a street. <laughs> like, any, all right, anybody coming? <laughs> wow, there's a runway. Yeah. Next, but crosswind landing. Oh, look at all those jets. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Sick. Thirty-one knot tailwind mm. at nine. Let's do it. Our alternate will be Tall Tallahassee filing. Expected route is as filed. Flight plan has been acknowledged. I'm gonna narrate this one because Josh is busy doing all the work. We just got fuel. We are in Reserve, Louisiana. I've never been to Louisiana before, so it's actually really cool to be here. We went through this layer where we could feel the heat here, um, but I think it feels pleasant. There's a nice breeze. We're hoping to get a fly past of New Orleans downtown. 
on the way out. So this should be a pretty fun leg, and then it's just a matter of the challenging weather ahead of that. So great day so far, really loving it. I'm tired, but I'm happy. So let's get back at it. I can see anybody look. Port of South Louisiana traffic, Skyhawk 80991 taxiing onto runway at 35 will be a VFR to par departure out to the east, Port of South Louisiana. I checked the final like three times. Cool, cool. Left crosswind. All right, airspeed's alive, engine's all green. Okay, hey, spot an alligator, I'll give you five bucks. <laughs> I'm serious. Man, that is swampy. Yeah, for sure. All right, uh, so you said right hand turn out. Yeah, just no higher than 1800 so we don't bust the Bravo. New Orleans approach Skyhawk, 80991 off reserve. Wait. And 991, what's your destination? We're going to Foxtrot Papa Yank, that's Perry Foley, IFR, uh, but we did have a request if we could fly the south shore of Pontchartrain before we're going direct dogma, that'd be great. Hey, your number one, yeah, that'll uh, work better there. You're clearing the Bravo, we maintain out of below 1,500, respect to shoreline transition. Okay, cleared into the Bravo, out of below 1,500, 8-0, south shore. That, look at that waterway, that's crazy. Yeah, this is cool. Carbon care 5751, so with the other base for runway 2. Break gravity 71 tower, wind 3307, runway 2, clear to land. Runway 2, break gravity Yeah, that's what I'm saying, like they're always accommodating. And just that's awesome. Southwest going over the top of us. They're just totally like, yep, clear through the Bravo, stay low. I mean, how often do people actually screw that up, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm actually a little bit surprised how small this city is. Yeah. It's really not massive, you know? Yeah, and it doesn't exactly have room to grow. Right. Right here. Right. It's like, where do you, yeah. Like, you go further south and you're, it's just swamps, you know? Turn left to Uniform or Tango and got the ground Until point you up. hit the Gulf. I kind of yeah. wonder, here, look at this bridge sure. right here. Wow. Jeez. Sky 9091, just to be advised, I'm sure you're aware of the uh, ground stop to Miami airspace. Not sure how far into Florida you're going, but just be advised there are delays. They might keep you a VFR. Yeah, just to Orlando. That would be a long night. We are just headed to Orlando. Roger. <laughs> Ground stop in Miami. Dang. New Orleans 80991, 1,500. Ready to pick up that IFR whenever you can accommodate. 80991, reset transponder. Squad 7356. 7356, yeah, it makes it complicated once you're in the IFR system because then they do have to... A0991, and you cleared to uh, Foxtrot Papa Yankee uh, Airport F out. Uh, climbing 18, 7,000. No on the terminator, 2974. 2974 up to 7,000. Cleared to Perry Foley as filed, 80991. There you go, man. Direct dogma up to 7. Woohoo! I'll take it. All right, hurry up and get to 7. I want to open the snacks. We have three hours and 30 minutes of daylight left. Okay. Yeah, let's play with it. Once we get up to cruise and kind of look at the numbers. That'd be nuts if we went all the way to Perry Foley. <laughs> or, uh, Apopka. Oh, from you mean direct. You mean direct. I mean, not direct, but no fuel stop. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that'd be crazy. And I'm heading to Southern we, got a, we got a tailwind. I mean, it's not impossible. Let's just see what it is when we roll off. See what she's doing. Yep. You never know. Never know. Those winds a lot forecast are very reliable. Awesome. Yeah. Right turn heading 270 and uh, confirm we're requesting uh, ILS. Uh, Four hours and 12 minutes to a popka right now at our current ground speed. Oh, we're totally going to do it. Yeah, let's just pull the mixture back and take a look at it here. But yeah, that might that very well might be possible. We're picking up a few What knots. are like the, the meat tires and the tafts looking like for Leesburg, though? I'm not even showing a ceiling out there. Leesburg is sky clear, 160 at 10. Just, yeah, wow. 7 p.m. scattered, 6,000 overcast, 10,000. Wow. 1 a.m. it goes to marginal. Wow. Yeah, dude, if we can do that, we're in the clear. Do you have a popka in there right now? Two hours, 58 minutes. It's in there right now. Popka. Golf foot approach. Yeah, all the way. 3,000. Wow. 3,000 on Wow. We could easily make it to a popka. That's pretty good. From only one four approach. That's uh, almost two and a half hour or an uh, hour and a half of fuel reserve. Mobile approach. 
Skyhawk 80991, level 9000. Skyhawk 80991, mobile approach, mobile altimeter 2970. 2970, 9901. Angle of attack. That's right. You just got a shout out in my plane. <laughs> <laughs> I want my money back. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. <laughs> 140 over the ground. Wow. Holding. Fingers crossed. Let's hope we can keep that. We're doing six and a half gallons an hour up here. Wow. Boots, pants, boots, pants, boots. Jack Center, Skyhawk A0991 with the reroute request. Go. Uh, we are getting pretty good fuel economy. We'd like to press on to our destination for the evening, which is X-ray 04 via ADAX, Alpha Delta Delta, Delta Alpha X-ray. X-ray 0991, clear to X-ray 04 airport via direct to ADAX, direct, maintain 9000. We're cleared to X-ray 04 via ADAX, 80991, thanks. Sweet. All right. We are officially skipping our fuel stop. I'm going to take 230, shuttle 5801. But we can always change our mind sure. later. Man, we're doing great. We are doing great on time. I mean, that is what a really good Freaking tailwind amazing. can do. Yeah. Three hours and 20 minutes of fuel. Let's just say three hours, 10 minutes of fuel remaining, to be conservative. One hour, 41 minutes to a popka. I mean, there's another contributing factor, which is, kind of like, how much are you saving between zero. rich of peak and lean of peak? Probably a solid gallon, gallon, gallon and a half per hour. that adds up after hours and hours and hours, it's like, Romeo yeah. Current there, Panama City, let me know when you get that. Yeah, freaking power it's flow. is significant, letting us really lean it back. Six, five, with you, Roger. Expect visual approach, one way, run one six, you are number two, following 737. November. Zero nine nine one taking on a nine or thousand decks with the Roger Tell half the altimeter two nine or seven zero. Two nine or seven zero, nine or nine one. Uh my controls. Alright, you have a drills. I have mysteriously not heard anything in a while. Still there? I'm here. <laughs> yeah, make sure I don't end up on YouTube. Oh, you might be in trouble here then. Dang it. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Where are you guys flying from? Uh, we came from Austin today. Oh, okay. Nice. I do like your videos. Thanks. There's actually two of us on board, Aviation 101 and Angle of Attack. We're heading to Sun and Fun. Oh, cool. I was hoping I'd uh, get to work it one of these times, but little did I know I'd have to be working it, so I can't go to see it. Oh, man, yeah, there's always that catch. Yeah, now that I'm down here in Florida, i got to fly all the way up to Oshkosh to see the fly in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a trek from uh, Austin, Texas, too. You guys go to Oshkosh as well? Yeah, we pretty much go every year. Nice, nice. It's like a full-on conversation. <laughs> yep. There's nobody out here. Shark <laughs> 991, amend up to the center maintain 5,000. Descend now 5,000, uh, 80991. I think controllers have a knack for remembering call, call signs. Yeah. So if they ever hear it on YouTube or anything, it just sticks in their brain. Yeah. November 4, Kilo Mike. Contact Executive Tower 118.7. Gosh, dude, that sunset is insane. Yeah, it is. And of a raise 0991, descend across Moden at 2000. You cleared RNAV Alpha approach. Cleared the RNAV Alpha approach, cross mode at 2000, A0991. You did want the Alpha, correct? A firm. Okay. Number 80991. Report cancellation of IFR and its frequency of unable flight service at a ground. A0991, we'll cancel now, thanks. A0991, IFR cancellation has been received, thank you. Your radar service terminated, squawk via far in case device for frequencies approved. No traffic observed on the radar between you and Airport. Have a good night. 991, thanks for the help. Sure. 
temperature 1, 7 Celsius, 2.16 Celsius, altimeter 2, minus 7, 3, density altitude okay. 700, over. Apopka traffic, Skyhawk 80991, about a one mile final runway, 15, full stop Apopka. And then you do have that displaced threshold there. How long is it? Uh, you'll see where it stops, past the arrows there. Nice. Welcome to Apopka. Woohoo! Roll all the way to the end. Alright! <laughs> Made it. We made it to Orlando Apopka right at dark, and we did it in record time for this airplane thanks to chasing tailwinds all day with onboard Sirius XM and great fuel economy from running lean of peak with the PowerFlow tuned exhaust. Chris and I have collaborated on several projects before, but never have we taken a long trip like this together. And we had an absolute blast just being pilots and being content creators all day, and this is only the beginning of this sun and fun trip. In the next episode, Chelsea rendezvous with us in Orlando, and we commence an epic week of flying leading up to Sun and Fun. And Chris really put his camera skills to the test on a smooth sunset flight to dinner, and he really outdid himself. Again, I'm hosting a couple of meet and greets at Sun and Fun this year, and the details can be found at aviation101.com SNF. And I certainly hope to see you there. Keep an eye on YouTube this week for part two of this Sun and Fun series to be released, and please fly safe on your way to the show. I want you to stay happy, healthy, current, and proficient. We'll see you in the next video. Fly safe.